our backyard has come a long way since this. We moved into our house three years ago and our yard was a sad situation. Then two years ago, we shared a small backyard renovation here on YouTube with you. We added in stones over the DG, lots of plants. We added in hedges and some furniture. It was an improvement, but it wasn't really practical as a play space for our kids. And we always knew we wanted more out of this area. First, we went on to Pinterest and found some images that really inspired us. We live in Los Angeles, so we always knew we wanted to build a pool and be able to enjoy indoor outdoor living. These were our top three images, and my husband and I kind of combined them and put them together in a rendering in our space, which you can see here. Then we chose our dream outdoor furniture and planters from our house and worked them into the rendering so we could get a really clear visual of what it would all look like together. We also knew we wanted an outdoor kitchen space, so we designed this in Photoshop as well, complete with a grill, sink, storage area, and counter space. We were so excited to get the process started. The first step was to clear everything that was there. So they demolished the deck, removed all the stones, and then outlined exactly where the pool would be. We wanted a shallow Baja on the left for the kids to play on, and then a large spa on the right, complete with a wraparound bench and jets. Then they got to work. They started digging out and framing the pool, and it was really, really exciting for us to see it come to life little by little each day. Once the concrete was set, we had to water it for two weeks. And it helped us, as you can see. <laughs> we decided to go with concrete coping. And even though this is an in-ground pool, we decided to elevate the sides of the pool 18 inches from the ground to give it the look of a lot of pools we've been inspired by that we've seen throughout Tulum, throughout different parts of Europe. We also felt that it would be safer. We have two small children and it is a small yard. So with them running around back here, having the high walls prevents them from just falling in. Once the pool was done, we started working on the cabana area behind the pool. Um, that's our garage wall that you're seeing in the back there. And we wanted to build something to kind of cover that up, but also make use of it. So we decided to make this whole cabana area, which we knew would be so nice for our whole family to lounge in. We also enclosed the gate on our side wall in order to build the kitchen area. And I think it's just a much better use of space and also makes the area on the side feel a lot more private. During this whole process, Issa was born and we would spend long days here in the family room just watching the backyard progress. What do you think about the pool? Not very good. It's not very good? No. What do you think would make it better? If we put some rubber toys in there. Some rubber toys? Mm -hmm. Oh, we can definitely get you some rubber toys, okay? Well, kitchen area is coming together. And less than a week after giving birth, we took a trip to MSI to pick the stone for our outdoor kitchen countertop. We decided to go with Taj Mahal, which is a really beautiful quartz site. And we went with the brushed finish rather than polished because we thought it would look a lot more authentic in the space and just really blend in nicely with all the stucco. We finished off the cabana with white beams and natural thatch runners to give it a whole vacation vibe. We added an arched doorway, which leads to our garage and driveway. For flooring, we did a white travertine tiling for the floor of the cabana, and then we did turf for the rest of the yard. How does it feel to you? Wonderful. Wonderful? Mm -hmm. even believe this is the same yard. I mean, what a transformation from where we started with nothing but DG on the ground to having our own little plunge pool, cabana, outdoor kitchen. Um, it's really, really a dream come true for us and our family. We furnished the whole yard with pieces from our house. These double wide chaise lounges are my favorite. We have three of them pushed all together to create one giant bed in here. 
They are so incredibly comfortable and they are really, really easy to wipe down. You know, we have two little kids, we eat up here, we bring drinks up here, and the fabric is really easy to just clean and wipe down, which is a definite plus. The light fixture in here is from Serena and Lily, and I love the vacation vibes it brings to the space. We added a niche to each side wall of the cabana, which is just a little added architectural detail. Also nice to just put drinks down in there. We are really happy with how the pool turned out. I love the Baja, the size of it is really nice. Ale loves sitting on there and playing in the water. Um, the Baja is also big enough to put two in water chaise lounges. And we decided to do a salt water pool, which is a lot nicer on our skin. <laughs> we decided to do white stucco on top of the concrete of the pool so that it would blend seamlessly into the surrounding walls. We are so happy with how the outdoor kitchen turned out. We went with a Soleil luxury 42 inch built-in grill. We went with a brass faucet for the sink and also brass sconces that were handmade in Greece that we found on Etsy. We planted baby cactus in these planters that are also from our house. The area on the side of our house is not very large. We used to have a dining area back here, but we really wanted to leave this space open so our kids could run around. So we decided to make it our own little mini putting green. These two chaise lounges, side tables, and umbrella are also from our house. I love these so much. I love the color of the teak wood. I love the piping on the cushions. They just have a really luxurious, chic vibe to them. Outside of our back doors, we put in a white travertine tile landing and then lots of pretty Mediterranean potted plants. These planters on the corners of the house we also got from our house. And the large one in the center we got from a local nursery. It was just concrete gray, like a dark concrete gray color. So we painted it first white and then went over it with a tan color just to make it look a little more lived in, slightly rustic, and it blends in really beautifully with the travertine underneath. The brass sconces on the house are from Lamps Plus, And I think they look really beautiful with all the greenery around them. In these planters, we did sage and baby ollies. And a large fruitless olive tree in the center. In the corner, we added this small counter table and counter stools, perfect for having cocktails or a glass of wine. They are from the same collection as the chaise lounges, also this really pretty teak wood. I love how all of these our house pieces really dress up the space and make our backyard such a comfortable living area. I really hope you guys have enjoyed our backyard reveal and tour and I really hope this provides some inspiration for you. Um, as you can see, our backyard is not a large area. It's a small space. It took a little bit of imagination, but I think we really made the most of it. So I will be sure to link all details in the description box below and of course if you have any questions be sure to ask them in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer everything um thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you soon